CBC is just one type of publicly issued digital dollar and would be issued, backed, and regulated by the Federal Reserve and have the full faith and backing of the U.S. government. This could serve as an alternative to existing forms of payments and have a benefit including instant payment settlement, provide a medium for cross-border transactions, and foster greater financial inclusion. More than 130 countries have begun to explore their own government-backed digital currencies. China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and India have already commenced pilot programs, and a digital euro pilot could be launched as early as 2028. Meanwhile, the U.S. remains far behind amid increasing and blatant information about features of digital currency. These words are belong to the Congress of the United States right there. Make it clear, the U.S. Congress has unmistakably signaled that XRP has the green light in America. This isn't just for banks and financial institutions. It's a global endorsement, especially from the U.S. Federal Reserve, to use XRP for both domestic and international transactions. Why is this significant? The U.S. Congress recognizes the global shift. Countries like Brazil, India, China, and others are moving towards establishing their central bank digital currencies using the XRP ledger in collaboration with Ripple. The U.S. doesn't want to be left out of this evolution. And guess which company they're partnering with? That's right, Ripple. As always, welcome back to Moneyside, your go-to spot for everything XRP-related. Just as the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, have collaborated on a central bank digital currency for mutual use, the U.S. is charting a similar course. Let me show you a clip that delves into discussions between Ripple and the U.S. Federal Reserve on CBDCs as far back as 2015. This historical context underscores the collaborative efforts of Ripple and the U.S. behind the scenes, even as we witness public disputes between Ripple and the SEC. This collaboration was a strong indicator that Ripple was poised to come out on top in the SEC lawsuit. Remember when Ripple pitched the FedNAB payment system to the Federal Reserve in 2015? While the Fed's official release of the system didn't explicitly credit Ripple, a deeper dive reveals hints. The Federal Reserve mentioned a potential partnership with a blockchain company capable of facilitating efficient payments with transaction times of just three to five seconds. Gary Gensler has consistently highlighted the potential of the U.S. Federal Reserve utilizing Ripple. Even before his tenure, amidst the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple, Gensler had expressed confidence in the Federal Reserve, integrating XRP and Ripple into their payment infrastructure, both for domestic and international transactions. Fast forward to recent developments. Riverbank, a notable Ripple payment partner that employs the RippleNet system, has officially become a part of the FedNet payment system. Let's break this down. Riverbank isn't just a bank. It's a payment facilitator that relies on RippleNet's XCurrent and XRapid systems. Both these platforms utilize XRP and its ledger for on-demand liquidity. With Riverbank's integration into FedNet, it's evident that XRapid, XCurrent, and RippleNet, all of which are anchored on XRP, will play a role. This means that the FedNet payment system is poised to leverage XRP for its liquidity needs in cross-border transactions. Consequently, as XRP XRP's utility and use case expand, we can anticipate its value to surge. If you're watching this and hold XRP, this is promising news for your investment. This integration of XRP into mainstream financial systems is more than just a nod to the cryptocurrency's potential. It's a testament to the evolving landscape of global finance. As traditional banking systems recognize the efficiency, speed, and cost-effectiveness of blockchain technologies like Ripple's, we're witnessing a paradigm shift. Moreover, Gary Gensler's endorsement and the subsequent moves by institutions like Riverbank are just the tip of the iceberg. As more financial entities begin to understand and harness the power of XRP and similar technologies, the ripple effect will be felt throughout the industry. Before we delve deeper, I got some exciting news for my viewers. I'm hosting an XRP giveaway. To join in, just follow these three simple steps. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, and share this video with your network. I'll be verifying if these steps are completely when selecting our lucky winner. So best of luck to everyone. We'll announce the winner when we hit the 60,000 subscribers milestone. Now back to the topic at hand, XRP's value and its growing significance. We've touched upon the U.S. Federal Reserve's interest in it and the broader U.S. inclination towards its adoption. But it's not just the U.S. that's recognizing XRP's potential. Countries like the BRICS nations and even the European Union, with its digital euro project, 
are exploring its capabilities. For a deeper dive into how XRP is being integrated into Europe's Digital Euro Project and the BRICS Nations CBDC, you can check out our dedicated videos on those subjects. Reiterating our main point, the US isn't just eyeing XRP for a potential CBDC, which we've covered in another video, but they're also keen on leveraging it for efficient cross-border transactions. This isn't limited to CBDCs, but extends to both domestic and international financial operations. Let's explore what this means for XRP's value moving forward. As the adoption of XRP grows, especially by major financial players like the US Federal Reserve, its intrinsic value is bound to be impacted. The utility of a cryptocurrency, after all, is a significant factor in determining its worth. When a digital asset like XRP is integrated into large-scale financial systems, it's not just about the immediate transactional benefits it brings, but also the long-term trust and credibility it garners. The global financial landscape is rapidly evolving, with digital transactions becoming the norm and the demand for swift, cost-effective cross-border payments increasing. The role of cryptocurrencies, especially ones with proven utility like XRP, becomes paramount. The backing of major economies and financial institutions can serve as a catalyst, propelling XRP into a league of its own. For investors and enthusiasts, this is a crucial time. The trajectory of XRP, given its current endorsements and integrations, suggests a promising future. However, as with all investments, it's essential to stay informed, continuously monitor developments, and make decisions based on thorough research. Is there a possibility of XRP soaring to $10,000? This is a question that's been buzzing in the crypto community, and we'll delve into it shortly. It's noteworthy to mention the increasing interest of multinational institutions, especially from North American countries in the XRP ledger. As the crypto landscape expands, with digital currencies now present in over 130 countries, XRP is frequently highlighted as a front-runner. So, what's the potential value of XRP? Speculations range from $10,000 to a staggering $35,000, especially with its potential role in global CBDC, central bank digital currency operations. What does this entail? As nations lean towards adopting XRP for global payments, there's a possibility of it becoming a universally accepted median currency. The managing director at Ville Hill Capital emphasized this point. If XRP is globally recognized and adopted as this median currency, it would mean that a significant portion of global wealth would flow through the XRP ledger. Despite XRP's substantial supply, the overwhelming demand could drive its value upwards, potentially placing it in the $10,000 to $35,000 bracket. These are the projections projections and values that analysts and enthusiasts are eagerly watching for XRP. Please remember, I am not a licensed financial advisor. The content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their own research and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications to be the first to know when I release new content. I'm excited to catch up with you in the upcoming video. Take care.